Jason, it's great to see that Spendable's back on the big screen, really enjoyed the film. Um, and I love the scenes that focus on your character, Lee, and Sylvester Stallone's character, Barney. How would you describe the relationship, the dynamics between those two? Uh, you know, it's uh, obviously um, it's a relationship that has stood the test of time. You know, they, they uh, obviously um, have a, a different feeling about, uh, you know, women and particular relationships. And, you know, I'm trying to get one and he's just so jaded that he can't engage in that kind of nonsense. Uh, so, uh, you know, in in and between the, the two sort of uh, uh, places that they are, there's all this, you know, there's all this humour, like, what are you doing? This girl cheated on you, you know, so you're, what, you're an idiot? So, you know, the, the Christmas character has all this faith that, they, you know, there's, there's still some possibility that, uh, you know, the, the, the facts weren't all straight. So anyway, we've got this thing going on and, uh, to, it, it just it, it's really quite funny he, he does such a good job with uh, with the banter that arises from that and how important is it do you think that we get to see that sort of human quite even vulnerable side to these action heroes well that's the point you know these are guys that are dysfunctional and they're not very uh, together but when they strap on a gun and they have to you know uh, dispatch the the bad guys and save the day there's no one better so it's a great sort of a uh, way that uh, you can sort of give them something that the audience can relate to. You know, this, these are guys that you you would you would see in a bar maybe, uh, but at the same time, uh, they have a, this heroic quality and to get the job done. And what do you admire about the way Sylvester Stallone has put these films together, and um, of course at the heart of them as, as Barney, but also screenwriter as well. Uh, well, you know. It's, it's it's you know you have enough respect just because he's been a you know a movie star for all these years. But when you look underneath that, you know he's a filmmaker, he's a director, he's a, he's a writer that's received you know uh, masses of awards for for what he does with a pen. So he, uh, no one knows better how to make uh, these kind of movies than him. Uh, so it's uh, it's great to be around that kind of influence. And you work with director Simon West on The Mechanic, of course. What do you think marks him out as one of Hollywood's finest filmmakers? Uh, a man who comes with experience, you know, a fellow Brit. We have a, a, a lot of uh, <laughs> sort of uh, things to talk about. Um, and um, more to the point, you know, he, he knows what he's doing and uh, Sly recognised that when he uh, appointed him to be the uh, director. And given your background as a diver, have you enjoyed the Olympics? And has anyone uh, particularly caught your eye, Tom Daly, perhaps? Mo Farah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I mean, uh, it's every time you see a, a Brit uh, win a gold, there's, there's something great about that. You know, uh, uh, it's, a, it's a big world out there, and, uh, you know, we, we've, we've come through on this one. You know, yeah. we delivered. It's been awesome. Um, and cinema audiences are going to be thrilled to see Chuck Norris uh, join the cast this time. What was he like to have around on set, and what did his. I wasn't around come? when. He, I, just, I think it was one day that he was there when I was there. It was like a brief lineup that we were all sort of engaged in. Uh, but yeah, most of his stuff was done when I wasn't around. And what would you say to people that enjoyed the first movie? What would you say to, they can expect from this, this time around? Bigger, better, a little bit more, uh, funnier. You know, everything that you enjoyed from the first one, this gives you, you know, it turns up the volume. Absolutely. Jason Satan, thanks very much. Thanks a lot.